Hi guys, today we are reviewing the rare Accurist 7043 sports watch. In this review we'll go through the style, features as well as dimensions of the watch. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, this is a stainless steel watch. We have a stainless steel case. We have the stainless steel buttons for the chronograph and the Accurist logo in the crown. And we have a stainless steel bracelet. The bracelet is two-tone, so we've got the matte finish on the outside and the shiny gloss finish on the inside. We have the locking clasp with the Accurist logo in it. This folds open. You've got a few adjustment points on this one. Open it up. This watch has a screw on back and this is a water resistant watch to 100 meters. So it's ideal, you can go swimming with it and so on, a little bit diving, whatever you would like to do with it. And it's a stainless steel solid case. If we come round to the side and the front, we've got a rotating bezel. The bezel, as you can see, has the green metal inlay and it's got silver markers for the timer for the diver feature. Now inside the face, you've got a lot of features in this face. You've got a tachometer around the outside of the edge. Then you've got your minute markers or second markers and then your battens. Your battens are chrome finish battens with luminous paint in them. You've got a date window which is white background with black lettering but it's got a nice yellow finish around it which contrasts against this lovely green sunray face. You have three dials these are for your stopwatch and these are only for your stopwatch. It doesn't have a 24 hour counter on this particular watch. It's got silver hands. The hands have the luminous paint on them as you can see. There's also luminous paint on the hands on the subdials. So each subdial has a silver hand again with luminous paint. The second hand has a yellow finish to the end like a little arrow and has luminous paint in it. You can see that. Now this watch is, as I said, it's a chronograph. As always with a chronograph, this watch is started with the button at the top. Now this one counts with the second hand going around as normal, just as normal second hand. It has no effect on the stopwatch. The stopwatch on this watch are the dials. So it says that all the dials are related to the stopwatch. If you press the top button, the top dial starts going around. So this is counting in tenths of a second. The bottom dial is counting in seconds. If we press the stop button, the watch stops, and then we can press the bottom button to return both the dials back to the center position. So we've got tenths, seconds, and then minutes over here. So it's quite a nice stopwatch. Means it will go up to an hour of timing, and you said you've got the tachometer in it so you can work out speeds as you would do any other stopwatch. Now I did say at the beginning, this watch is rare. And what I mean by rare, this watch is only available for one retailer in the UK. It's exclusive to F Heinz with this green finish. I've not seen this style in any other finish so far yet, but the green makes it very, it's a very unique watch. And as I said, it's limited purely to one retailer at the moment. Don't know if it'll be released to anybody else, I'm not sure. But it's a nice, nice watch. And obviously with me, it's going to go into my green collection. We will come to the sizes. This watch has a face of 34 millimeters. The casing is 44 millimeters. So it's going from here to here. And with the crown, that works out at 49 millimeters overall. We have a strap. It's slightly wider than normal on this one. This strap is 24 millimeters. The watch... Standard depth, a lot of these watches I have, same 13 millimeters from front to back. It is quite heavy though, because it's all stainless steel and you've got a stainless steel strap. It's quite a large cased watch. 
then it actually weighs a total of 142 grams. It's a nice weighty watch, you know you're wearing it definitely, but it's still very, very comfortable. The bracelet is very adjustable, very flexible, so it's a nice comfortable watch to wear, a fantastic watch to look at, and as I said at the moment, quite rare. You can only get it in one place. So I do like the look of this watch a lot. It's a very nice watch indeed. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more watch reviews, think about subscribing. If you want to, please like down the bottom. Any comments or any questions, also write those down there. And please check out my other videos through the section. There's an accuracy section and there's playlists on other watches and overall reviews. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.